Hello and welcome back to my channel, Crafty Concepts with Erin. Today I have here the brushed collection and this is really fun. This is what they call a bring back my pack. This was a very popular collection several years ago and they've given it a makeover and brought it back. So I went ahead and got the bundle and it includes these two stamps I can never have enough butterflies. I love butterflies. And this is a really pretty kind of daisy image with a few other florals on there. And then here's the paper collection. Now they're all double-sided, but I've gone ahead and already flipped each, every other one over. So you're seeing all of the paper packs together here. You can see it's the same on the other side. But this is just really a gorgeous color palette. Look at those florals. And then this is a really neat background paper here. And of course, I love this color with the leaves printed on it. And here is the coordinating sticker sheet. There's a 12 by 12 sticker sheet and there's a lot of fun sayings on here. And you can see there's a couple different title options for your page and lots of good stuff there. And of course, there's the cardstock. Now you can buy each of these pieces individually um, or you can get it in the bundle for the best value. So I'm going to be scrapbooking these two pictures of my mom and I, and her shirt is blues and greens, and I just really thought that this paper was kind of made for it. And then her drink is pretty red color. So I thought, oh, this is gonna work perfectly, and the um, paper collection just really goes with the photos well. So I was looking back through my albums and I saw this Halloween layout I did a few years back and I love the hexagon look. And this is a fun look, it's popular, it's been around and it's um, you know still popular, but I wanna kind of recreate this, I mean mainly just the hexagon look. So I have this uh, Aurora stamp and thin cuts and in it is this hexagon shape and I thought, oh, that's gonna be perfect and I'm just going to use this it's about two and a half inches or two and a quarter by i think two and three quarters so whatever hexagon die cut or punch or you could use your cricut that would be fine too and i'm just going to go ahead and you might use my spellbinders die cutting machine and run this little guy through here i'll do one and then i'll do the rest off camera so the last layout I did use my Cricut, but sometimes it's just faster for me, me to use a die cut. So I went ahead and punched out a bunch of, or die cut a bunch of those patterned papers from the brush collection. And I'm starting with a sheet of white daisy. So when you have a lot of color and a lot of patterns, it's nice to incorporate some white space into that just to kind of give your, play, your eye a place to rest. So what I'm doing, is arranging my hexagons and I want to make sure that the colors are evenly dispersed across my page. So I'm going to bring in my two photos just to kind of, you know, get a visual here and I'm just moving them around to make sure they feel balanced and again I want to carry each color across the page. So you can see the pink kind of starts in the upper left corner and it ends in the lower right hand corner and I have my kind of that blue lagoon color that goes through, um, you know, just so it kind of carries your eye through the layout there. I'm using liquid glue to adhere these down, but you can use a tape runner. The liquid glue helps you kind of wiggle them into place so you can get the edges all lined up the way they should be. And I'm just making sure I have my patterns going the right direction here. But I've decided to mat these photos this is a piece of Lagoon cardstock, and I'm going to map them together um, just because I don't have the hexagons in the background there, which won't matter. You won't be able to tell behind the photo mat. So I'm just going to put these like so, and they're similar pictures, but she has a different expression, and I thought it was kind of fun. Um, but before I adhere those down, I'm going to use my nail file and go around and sand the edges of this cardstock to bring out that white core. And I love that look. It really adds a lot of interest and it just looks really neat. So I'm using Tape Runner and this is an inexpensive tape runner. It doesn't hold really well, but it was all I had available to me at the time. So I'm just reinforcing it with a little glue 
as well, just to make sure that these don't come off. It does not pay to skimp on your adhesive. Um, if a tape runner is inexpensive, you're probably going to have to use twice the amount, and so it's just not worth it. I really like the Tombow tape runner and the Close to My Heart tape runner, but sometimes I run out and have to get whatever's at my local store while I'm waiting for my order to come in. So I'm pulling some stickers from my sticker sheet and you saw I just used my anti-static pouch to remove the adhesive backing so that I can move them around my page. But I'm going to bring in this title element that says lovely and I'm just uh, using my ruler as a guide there to see how that is going to work out for me. And then I could just take it off of the ruler, bump it up a little bit using the ruler as my straight edge, and it works really well to get your title on there nice and straight. I love these big, bold floral elements. They're just really pretty, and I'm just going to kind of make a few clusters around my photos here. This says, thoughts of you always put a smile on my face. So I thought this was nice. And my mom and I, we love to get together for coffee at our local Starbucks. And even if we only have 10 minutes in passing, we'll stop and, and just kind of have a quick visit. So these are special little visits for me. And I wanted to document these memories. So I'm going to bring in some of the um, foliage to tuck around the flowers and then these butterflies here. And I put the red one down to the left because I had too much red in the upper corner. And so that uh, lagoon colored butterfly was a better fit on the right side. And some of these I'm tape or gluing down and then I'm gonna use um, adhesive foam squares to pop up some of the elements just to add some dimension there but I'm just layering them making sure they're all nestled and overlapping so that they feel like they belong together again just adding a little bit more foam tape to this cluster over here and we'll just vary the heights a little bit pop up our little butterfly there and I think that looks great just tacking down the rest of this title piece, making sure it's all sticking. And then I'm just gonna bring in some enamel dots from my stash and just place these around each cluster in kind of a triangular formation. And um, I'm varying the sizes. I like these because there's the large, medium, and small dots, which I just think adds even more interest. I somehow missed it, but I did add to the title. You'll see the word amazing from the sticker sheet, those two little arrows, and then I stamped out the word you. So now the title reads, Lovely Amazing You. I've added a few journaling lines with my pencil, and I'm just handwriting my journaling. You guys should be proud of me. You know that I'm not a fan of my handwriting, and I like to type up my journaling, so I'm gonna go ahead and <laughs> write on my layout and it doesn't look too bad. I'm using my journaling pen just to put some random black dots on each of these. Um, it's hard to see in the in the video here but it does look really nice and um, adds a little bit of interest and helps draw your eye. I'm also going to put a few tangles of thread around. I just really wanted some more texture in this upper corner. And then to balance it out, I need um, to offset this on the opposite side. So this is just some thread from my stash and I'm tucking it under there. I'll just use a little bit of liquid glue and then put it under the edge, just squeeze a little bit out and tuck that under like so and it'll stay really well. And again on the upper corner, this little trick I learned from Missy Whitten. I love her use of tangled thread and it just adds some visual interest to the layout and texture. So this brushed paper collection is only available through the month of July, so be sure to grab yours while supplies last. I'll leave a link of everything I used in the description box below. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.